what's going on guys, Chang be here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 101. Today we are going to be covering this build which I like to call the storage silo. If you are wondering how this works, please stick around and you will find out. Hey again, Chang be here, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. We're going to be getting into the storage silo. Basically what it does, it has a whole bunch of chests stacked on top of each other. That way you can store many amounts of things, but at the same time, it lets you know if you're gonna get full on all your chests. The way it works is behind here, I have it almost like chopped in half, that we can see the interior for the little amount of redstone needed to for this contraption to work. So basically what it does, as you'll see, whenever an item is put into the top chest, it immediately goes chest by chest all the way down into the bottom one. And then a light will pop up letting you know that, hey, there is stuff in the bottom chest now. And once that continues getting full, the lights will continue to pop up again and again. And then you will be able to see how much items you have in your chest. The redstone is very minimal for those non-redstone experts. Well now let's get to the building. The way I like to start off is I like to mark out my area which is a 7 by 5 by 5 block area. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we do 5 again on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the chest where it is going to go that way we know what we are working with here so I like to place a double chest it has to be placed long ways like like this that way you can open it and yet still have room for the redstone needed inside we are going to then crouch and place a hopper on top of that chest and then now we are going to do a zigzag formation of chest on top for now we're just gonna do four and then in those chests what you wanna do is you wanna put a hopper in between them that way they just fall right down like dominoes now for the sensing mechanism itself what you're going to do is you're going to place a stair here another stair on the opposite side then you want a slab so that way you can still access the chest then on top of that slab we're going to place redstone lamps and we're going to need four for the amount of chest that we have which is also four. Now you want to fill in the sides of that sensing area that way it hides our redstone behind it. Now you want to place glowstone in right behind the stairs that way you have light in it and is not completely dark when you are looking at the chest. Now for the actual sensing redstone bit, we are going to place a comparator facing outwards of the chest. That way it senses if there is a block in there. Then you want to place a block in front of the comparator. That way it powers the block with redstone on top. And then you want another block next to that redstone. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to put a block going towards the front of the build and we're going to put a redstone repeater that way it takes that redstone output and extends it. Now you want to create a bridge like redstone line that way it goes straight into the redstone lamp letting you know if there is a block inside it or not. Then for the remaining chests, you want to place a block and a comparator facing outwards of the chest again. That way whenever that chest has a block, it will also sense it and make it in a ladder snake formation. So as you'll see, we're just going to go side to side, up and down, and we're going to make it so that way, <laughs> not a redstone repeater, redstone comparator that way it senses when all of the chests are full so for my design what i like to use is just plain wood because for me i like rustic designs 
we are going to build up the sides of your front and with logs and then put slabs on top of the logs so that way it covers up that design then you are going to place more logs on the top of your sensing area that way we can then build up the roof behind it which we are also going to make out of slabs in a square like formation then if you want place a little light on top that way you can see it from a further distance away what I do for the rest of the sides is I just fill it in with with oak planks and build up the sides again just like we did in the front that's it it is as simple as that you can make it however design you want with whatever blocks you want and make it how big as you want it is a very flexible design but now let's see if it works uh, it seems like we brung back the mutton huh now let's put it in the top chest and let's see if it goes down there we see one the redstone has lit up that means it has entered the bottom chest and there there's the light it is as simple as that guys and as you can see the mutton has still lived and that's it thank you again for watching i hope you have enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and if you really enjoy it make sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this also leave a comment for suggestions on on different builds that i can do or if you have any questions about the build at hand. This is Chan Bimbi signing out.